Western Force supporters are rallying in a last-ditch effort to save their club. The Australian Rugby Union says the force has played its last season, but a legal challenge is brewing and the club's founding chairman has quit the ARU board in protest. Save the force! The war cry of WA Rugby, echoing from the top all the way down to grassroots members. The ARU has chomped the Western force from Super Rugby. Lovers of the game say they're gobsmacked. It's supposed to be an Australian league and we get shafted, really. Rugby is, is great and we, we love it and we support it so much and it's just terrible. It's a disgrace. The force had hoped a strong finish to the season and the backing of billionaire Twiggy Forrest would sway rugby bosses. Now its supporters are getting ready to fight. They've said it's down to money and they've said it's down to performance and both those criteria don't hold water. Members are planning a march in protest as they call for the sport's governing body to reverse the decision. I think we're going to have a few thousand people easily, yeah. I think we this campaign slowly building momentum. The club is now meeting with lawyers as it plans its next step. It's expected to apply for a Supreme Court injunction by Monday, the state government backing the move. The ARU are essentially surrendering rugby union as a national code by restricting their competition to the eastern uh, seaboard. The club's former chairman, Geoffrey Stook, has resigned from the ARU's board in protest. There's also a plan for a sea of blue in support of the force when the Wallabies face the All Blacks in Sydney next week. But for some, it's too late. Well, I'm boycotting the game. I'm, I'll never go to another Wallabies game uh, for the rest of my life as a result of this decision. Locals say if the team is dissolved, it'll send a shockwave through all levels of the sport. For the youngsters here, what more they got to look forward to? Yeah. Oh. Tegan Sapwell, Nine News.